Hello, everybody. This is Chromosquad 018. Sorry. Uh, my nephew, Jack Wyatt, was messing with the wires. I had to move him. Anyway, this is my thoughts on Assassination Classroom Episode 12. I don't know what to really say too much about this episode, other than I like the fact that A Class was able to get in the top 50 like they need to. Uh, Asano got what he wanted. He wanted his father's policy to fail. Which it did. And apparently a bunch of them want to go to E-Class now because they think that that's where it's working. But if they were to actually do that, they'd find out about Koro-sensei and everything, and... Wouldn't be good. But what I wasn't expecting for is for the principal to show up, try to demo the building, fire Koro-sensei, send the others to a prison-like school is what he put it, and try and kill him with four grenades, I think? No, five grenades, sorry. One that's got stuff that would kill a human, which meant that if he had to, if it came down to it, he would end up killing himself because of it. I don't know if he's that desperate to prove his principle or, or his policies, or if he's just doesn't have the way to live anymore because his policies have failed. And I know I've seen the episode after this that shows how he ended up how he ended up. And I do not blame him. It's a very sad event. And anyway, but that is for another day. That's for another day. My thoughts video, essentially. But I am glad that Karma was able to get the problem done. In a simplified manner, apparently. But Asuna wasn't because he used a more complicated, for, I guess, complicated formula or a way to figure it out or whatever, and that he didn't have enough time to finish it. That's what happens when you get down to the wire. Uh. Anyway. I don't have too much else to say on this episode. <sighs> as soon as I finish this, I'm gonna upload it. And go get some pizza from the Minimart, I guess. Anyway, I will see you all next time.